I'm Bonnie Sensenbacher. And I'm Lisa Bircher. We are science teachers and science co-advisors for our science club at East Palestine High School. Yes, where we are right now is in the OASIS, which is our outdoor area for studies in science. We know that not all school districts have access to such a wonderful resource, but you can still provide outdoor educational experiences for your own students. All you need to do is get started and find a local area of interest, uh, maybe a park or a public lake or some type of a uh, field that you can actually use with your students and then provide those opportunities, which are not opportunities that they would typically have in the classroom. Correct. We have taken students to Lake Erie. We've used the Hydro Lab. We attended overnight camp opportunities with our students and we also participated in the International Coastal Cleanup which we actually did right here in our OASIS, which has been a really great opportunity because we're not only providing an opportunity for students to document what's in the environment and what's problematic, but also to clean up their community. Absolutely. So. Our grant writing has provided us with these picnic tables, bird houses, funding for field trips, opportunities for professional development, and you know, not only that, but really what it comes down to is a chance to get to bond with a fellow teacher or colleague to create opportunities in the community that just don't exist anywhere else. And a chance to really, you know, make that difference for our students as citizen scientists.